Now as for you, son of man, I have made you a watchman. Therefore, hear the words from my mouth and give them warning from me. video and uh, Lord's will be edifying unto the elect. This is uh, uh, Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 1. I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower and will watch to see what he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I am reproved. And that's right, the Lord has set, uh, has set up the prophets as, as watchmen. Just like the ancient watchmen, they will watch out for any uh, impending uh, uh, enemies or anything that would be coming within those those borders or within the city now us being the modern day uh watchmen what are we looking out for we're looking out for the prophecies namely all right the things that the lord said that would come to pass we're watching out for this enemy esau who he's about to get ready to come in like a flood all right the time of, uh the time of jacob's trouble the hour of temptation we were speaking on at uh at camp this thirds uh this thirds woe ultimately the return of our lord and savior yahweh shai so we're watching out for these things and we're, and we're not only watching we're giving out that warning all right matter of fact i'm gonna grab something real quick this is uh isaiah 62 and 6. i have set watchmen upon thy walls O jerusalem and jerusalem is a people before it's a place all right so this is talking about the nation of israel you so-called uh, negroes latinos and native americans which shall never hold their peace day nor night ye that make mention of the lord yahweh Shim yahweh shai keep not silence that's right we're not keeping silence it tells you in ecclesiastes the third chapter that there is a time and a season for everything that's under the sun and right now is the time of speaking speaking what the words of yahweh Shim yahweh shai because what we're going to go back to have a the second chapter the prophecies are speaking all right so it says and give him no rest that's right, because we're not at rest, according to Micah uh, in the second chapter. So we are to give. We are, we are to give the Lord no rest. Uh, yeah. We are to give the Lord no rest because what? Well, we're not at rest. Alright? And give him no rest till he establish until he make Jerusalem a praise in the earth. And that has yet to uh, to occur. So we are to continue to be on the uh, the most high's line. So this is back in Habakkuk 2 and 1. I will set, I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower and will watch to see what he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I am reproved. And the Lord answered me and said, write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that read of it. That's right. As the ancient prophets wrote these visions down that they, uh, that they received, though they didn't fully understand it, the prophets are back here today. It said the spirit of the prophets, the prophets is subject unto the prophets. So now we're back here today breaking these uh, these prophecies down. All right. And, and the things that are taking place today with the, uh, the current events, we're filtering it through the scriptures and linking it up with the prophecies. All right. And we're making it plain. We're breaking it down. But as the scriptures say, as this way is a plan unto the holy, there's stumbling blocks unto the wicked. So only the elect are going to are going to uh, understand these things. Amos the third chapter, you know, surely the Lord would do nothing but he revealed his secrets unto his servants the prophets. Verse 3, 
For the vision is yet for an appointed time, like uh, I was mentioning Ecclesiastes, the third chapter. There's a time and there's a season for everything that takes place under the earth, uh, under the sun, on the earth. But at the end, it shall speak and not lie. And that's what's happening right now. The prophecies are speaking loudly and clearly and vividly. All right. And there is no lie of, of the Lord's words, man. All these words are coming to pass. And that's why it tells you in Ezekiel, the 33rd chapter, when these, wor uh, when these words shall come to pass, then you shall know that the prophet have been among you. All right. The true prophets, that is. Um, it says, though it tarry, wait for it because it will surely come. It will not tarry. That's right. And that's where uh, patience comes into play, man. We were, uh, touched on Zephaniah 3 and 8. Wait ye upon the Lord. You know, because the Lord is going to execute all this. All we're doing is, is speaking the words of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, and the Lord is going to bring it to pass, man. Okay, you know, and as and as you know, we're as we're on our watch and we're seeing what's playing out. Hey, man, everything is escalating. Everything's uh, uh, falling right into place. Yahweh Shai is right around, uh, right around the corner, man. Our redemption is is nigher than we believe. You know, so we're in incredible times. You know. Hey man, the Lord has us covered, man, and we about to go back home, you know. So I'm gonna close it out right there. I pray that this lesson was edifying unto the body. Uh, once again, giving all praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakhak Badash. I want to say Shalom to the elect. Shalom.